Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Yo, what's going on, guys? In this video, I'm going to be outlining how to use the trading tool, trading platform called MetaTrader 4. Okay. So if you go in the App Store, Google Play, whatever App Store you use, just type in MetaTrader 4 and it should pop up. Download it and you guys can follow along. It's a little bit different on Android, but seeing this video, you guys will get the gist of it. Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen and kind of guide you guys through how I or how anybody uses the app and kind of make it a bit simpler. Okay. So I have a few screenshots here. As soon as you load up the app, you're going to come to this screen. And just like we talked about in our last video of what is Forex, you have the currencies listed here on the left hand side, Euro USD, XRP USD. Those are some cryptos, but um, those are some of the pairs. If you want to add an extra pair, very simply just tap the plus and then you're going to be able to search for different currencies, not by their full name. You're going to need to enter the abbreviation. And if you don't know the abbre abbreviation, very simply just Google it, but they're usually very simple to figure out like Australian dollars, AUD. So just like that, you know, you can Google it or just type it in. Okay. And if you hit advanced view, and this is when things get kind of complicated, um, they're going to show you the advanced view of that chart. Okay. I know you guys are kind of intimidated. There's a lot of, a lot of numbers on the screen and I'll explain what it means. So I'm going to do it on my favorite chart, the euro versus the U S dollar. So spread 10. Okay. It's like, well, what is the spread stuff? Okay. Pretty much what this means is when you enter a trade on the Euro USD, if you think that the market's going to go up, you're going to hit buy. When you hit buy, it's going to set you 10 micro pips behind. Okay. And I, I, I know you guys are probably like, what's a micro pip? Very simply, that's how you measure how much a Forex currency has gone up in stocks. You measure stuff by dollars, just like our last example. If I bought a stock at $1, it went all the way up to 10, then Hey, I made $9 profit. Forex is a little bit different. Okay. Imagine these points you can make, I don't know, a variable amount of money per these points, but we'll get into that after. But pretty much when I enter a trade, I'm going to be set back 10 micro pips or micro points, whatever you want to call it. 10 micro pips is equal to one pip. To give you guys a little bit of an insight, a, a typical trade is anywhere, I want to say 30 to 100 pips. So you set back only one pip. Okay. So that's what the spread is. So if I said, Hey, it's going to go up here. They're going to say, okay, we're going to set you back. Uh, okay. 10. You're going to start here and then go up. So your trade's going to be negative or in the red for the first little bit. And it means the exact same thing on the way down. So if I said, Hey, it's going to go down here. They're going to set me back one, two, three, all the way to 10. And that's all. So 10 micro pips is equal to one pip. Just want to get, get that clear. And moving on. Once you understand a bit of the more advanced aspects, once you go through the rest of the course, it's gonna make a lot more sense. When I hit the chart on the bottom, my chart will display. Okay. On the bottom half, I'm going to have the time of when this is happening because it's a live chart. Okay. So the bottom, I have what time it is, what day it is, depending on the time frame. Okay. On the right hand side here, and I was talking about the points earlier, this is at what I want to say exchange rate the euro versus the US dollar is at. So euro versus the US dollar is at 1.14015. So that means um, 1.14015 US dollars is equal to one euro. All right. And if I move forward on the left hand side here, if I were to tap that H1 icon, what that is displaying is the different time frames. Hunter is going to go over what time frames mean in the later video, but just know this is exactly where you find the time frames. Okay. And you can cycle through to keep it simple. This is basically how you look at the market from a very, I want to say minuscule view to a very broad view on the monthly. Okay. Moving on. Let me just erase that. We have the history. So the history is categorized by the day, week, month, and custom. 
So this will show you your trade data over the past 24 hours, the past seven days, the past month, or custom, you can you know create a search window maybe between Tuesday and Thursday, you had a couple good trades, boom, it'll show you exactly. Or last year, or the span over two years, whatever have you, um, it's gonna display all the trades. And these are only trades that are closed. So once you take profit, then it's gonna show you. And in the middle tab where it says trade, that's where your open trades and current balance is gonna be at. The next thing, okay, this is very important to know whether you're trading on a demo account or a live account, okay? What this means is that you can trade Forex or trade in the Forex market with monopoly money, with, so with fake money. You can practice your skill in the Forex market and I highly suggest you guys do that without risking any money first. Why would you throw you know, real money at something without knowing if you're even good? That's the way I like to look at it. So you can practice your skill on a demo account, very simple to create. Um, you see the, the green button there where it says new account. You could navigate through there, make yourself a new account. Okay, this demo tag indicates that this is a demo account. Okay, and you see all the numbers there, all that, that's just the account ID. For the next photo, it is my live account. And notice I blurred out the account number. Obviously, I don't want you guys to have my account details. So if you're ever sharing a screenshot of your real account, make sure you blur out those numbers. And you can tell it's a real account by this tag right here, okay? And make sure if anybody's ever showing you results, whatnot, they show you that they're trading with real money. Because it's cool to make demo profits, but you know you can't buy a house, you can't buy stuff with demo profits. And very simply, that's MetaTrader 4. In our next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to hook up a real account with MetaTrader 4. And I hope you guys have been taking notes. If not, skip back, take those notes.